Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how agar function works in ClickSense and how can we combine agar function with other functions. The database I am going to use with this application is this. You can download this from the link mentioned in the description section. I have loaded this data here and front end I have created two charts. One is with category, country and sum of sales and the other chart is only category, country and sales. Left hand side one is the pure table where we are showing sum of sales for category and country. I have highlighted countries and respective sales of those countries which are selling maximum for the particular category. So when we say audio, audio is sold most in USA and the sales is 7453. The same way printer is getting sold most in UK and the total sales is 8328. Now our objective is to get a trade table which is we are showing on the middle of the screen. So we want to show a trade table with all the categories and the countries which are selling that particular category most along with the sales. So printer UK 8328. So here we are we should get only one line for printer and the country which is most selling the printer and the total sales of printer in that country. So tablet UK is selling most most of the tablets and the total sales is 1801. So to get our final output first we need to understand how agar function is working. If I will simply use this, I have created a new table with category as my dimension and I will say sales, sum of sales as my expression. Now if I will simply say max of sum of sales, it will not work we will get an error nested aggregation not allowed and this is true with all the database even in sql or oracle when you are doing the same you will get nested aggregation error so the meaning of this error is when you are using more than one aggregation function when i'm talking about aggregation function means these functions some count, average, mean, max, median, fractile, only, concatenate, mode, first sorted value, min string, max string, these are all aggregation functions. So when you are using two aggregation functions in a single expression, you cannot directly use back to back two aggregations like this. So between two aggregation function, you have to use the keyword agar. So what agar is doing, I will show you. So I will remove this max now and we'll keep only sum of sales which will give me total sales of audio photography printer and tablet so now instead of writing maximum i will write agar and agar with respect to my category and my country right now i will apply this we will get nothing that's fine but I want to show you what exactly this agar function is doing. So this agar function will create a table virtually inside the memory. This table will not be visible. This table is actually inside the memory. So that's why I'm saying virtually. So this agar function will create a virtual table inside a memory with category as first dimension, country as second dimension and sum of sales as expression. So this is how the table is getting created. This table is inside memory. Now when I say max of this, so we already have used category here as a dimension. So this expression will give us max sum of sales. So when we select audio here, 
we have five countries and their sales. So when we are using max here and category as our first dimension, it will give us sum of sales for that particular category which country is selling most. So the second dimension is country and we are getting 7453 maximum for the country. So we are getting sales here. If I will remove all the dimension then I am getting 8328 which is sum of sales highest for any category in country. So in a category and country combination what is the maximum sales? But as soon as we enter here our dimension which is a category we are now getting the result which is granulated by category. So for audio we are getting 7453, photography 4757, printer 8328 and tablet 1801. Now with the combination of first sorted value we can get this country. To get the country we can copy this expression and inside this measure we will write first sorted value which is also uh, aggregated function and here we need country with respect to our this aggregation function max from so I will remove max from here we'll remove the bracket which is we have created for max and instead of normal agar I will use minus agar and I will get now the desired result so you can see now we are getting USA UK, UK and UK. So I can say here country, I can say here sales, max sales. So now we are getting the respective output. How this first sorted value function works, I will create separate video on that. Hope you like this video. Thanks and have a great day.